Troy's Everyday Eats, brought to you by The Fresh Market. Welcome back to Rising. Troy's Everyday Eats has us rolling into spring with some right. fresh new recipes. Looking delicious. Spring rolls. Ooh. Yeah, and I know it's kind of weird. We haven't been doing yes. a whole lot of meat last couple of weeks. Did the roast of vegetable sandwich last week. You feeling We're healthy? Gonna, I, I, no, I don't look healthy. <laughs> oh, yes, it's me. I know. Who is this man? This is Troy. We're doing spring rolls. We're going to do one with noodles and fresh vegetables, and we're going to do one with crab and asparagus. And bacon. No bacon in this one. <laughs> it's not Troy. It's, it's settled. It's not it's Troy. And I'll show you. I do have bacon in my cooler raw, just in case if I start just to go in case. down. Just in case. If you start to go into, we'll yeah, shock okay. without it. We're going to start with uh, the noodles here, T, and I'm going to get this water boiling back. Okay. I just went to the fresh market and just bought some, some ramen. These are like the... Those the, look like healthy ramen these noodles. These are the brown rice ones. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. the cheap ramen I buy is typically know, twice really the size of that. And you can actually yeah. use, you know, the cheap ramen. You know, just take the seasoning, pack it out, and just use the noodle. Okay. It's just going to give some substance to this. Huh, this is okay. the rice paper that we're going to use to roll it. Nice. And, and I got this at the fresh now market, but you can get it at the Asian stores. It's so light. Is it like phyllo dough that it kind of breaks in yeah. half? In the next segment, it won't break in half. It's actually very elastic. It's very uh -huh. Once you soak it in water, and I'll show you the whole technique with that in the next segment. Calorie free since it's so light? Yeah. Um, there are some calories in it, believe it or not, because mm, okay. it's made with rice. Okay. All right. So, with, for a dipping sauce, all spring rolls have to have a good dipping sauce. Now, you're going to start yeah, to kind of break those huge. up just a little bit. Okay. I mean, don't like hurt them or anything, but like just <laughs> gently Go loosen easy them up. On them, Terry. Yeah. Hurt the ramen. <laughs> so, are you don't. starting with hoisin? What is this? Hoisin sauce. Oh, hoisin sauce. And okay. Then, uh, sesame seeds. And what did you add in? A little bit of ginger. Ginger. Okay. And then we're going to add some gogu chang, which is the Korean a, a chili. A now what? Gogu chang, Korean chili paste. Okay. It's a little spicy, but it's got a lot of earthiness to it. Mm. And then some soy Smooth sauce. Ginger. We'll put a little bit of soy sauce. Oh, he's sauce going in. for it. We're going to go for it. And then we're going to take some lime. Oh, doing the fresh lime juice. It's going to be good Look at you, stuff. Troy. And you then, need me to whisk for you? And then you're going to start whisking that okay. up. Then we come back. So we've already you can see the vegetables we got down here. We got some roasted or some peppers, some carrots, some lettuce, some mung beans. So when we come back, we're just gonna put it all together. We're gonna have a dipping sauce ready for. It. I forgot we gotta put some oh, serrano peppers little, in there too. Well, kick. Ooh. There you go. I like that. That's more soy. Oh, just go for it. Are these vegetables in season too, by the way? Oh uh, yes. Nice. Spring is what it's all about. Love Fresh it. veggies. Chef Troy is rolling out a spring menu for us this morning by making some spring rolls for us. Hanging out here in the kitchen with you. This is very interesting. And we were just talking as we came up. You yeah. said back in the day you actually made this quite a bit. Yeah, me and my wife a couple years ago made these a lot. And, okay. uh, you know, for me, you know how much I love salads. And yeah. I always wanted something that I could carry where I could eat a salad in. And basically this is a good way to do it. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, the rice paper, we, we got to get one of these going or we'll never get it done. You want to put these in some warm water. And I'll go ahead and get this one started and then I'll kind of explain what we're doing. If you can see how they're kind of curved up, uh -huh. when you put it in the water, you want to put it down. Okay. That way it won't curl up on you, and that way it'll all soften evenly. Because if part of this is sticking out of the water and part of it's down, and you can have the water warm or cold okay. or whatever. That's what I was putting my finger in there. <laughs> if it's warm, it's only going to take about you know five to ten seconds. You know, if, if it's cold, you can see they're starting to get a little more flexible now. Okay. And we'll kind of let that do its thing. Now we served. We're going to serve this with the dipping sauce that Christine made with right. the gogu chang and the hoisin and the lime and the ginger. And I'm just going to start out just by putting some on the plate a little because schmier. these things are very very sticky. And we'll serve a little bit of this on the side too. Um, so it's always good to put something down. I wouldn't stack these in your lunch box okay. <laughs> because they're gonna they really will stick together. All right, well let's set this over here for now. This should be ready, and you can kind of tell. You won't be able to tell on camera, but they'll kind of look wavy when they're done. Okay. And you just want to pick it up, and I've got damp paper towel here. Now, what's the point of having the damp paper towel? It's this stuff is so sticky it'll stick to everything. Okay. So you want to, and I know you can't see it on camera, but we're gonna kind of smooth it out just a little bit, get it into that mm -hmm. circle shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can really put whatever you want to in it. I like starting with a little bit of lettuce, just kind of as a base. Okay. We made some ramen noodles. Or you right. did. You did a good job yeah. of that. That was busy work that you gave me. <laughs> you obviously knew that I have a history of ramen noodles. And you said, you know, can you just use the one out of the pack? And yeah, uh -huh. you can. Just I wouldn't put the seasoning pack in there. Just you know, just use the noodles. Okay. And then you can fill it with whatever you want. I've got carrots and some red bell pepper. You know, we got some mung bean sprouts, but. Literally, you can put whatever you want. It's a good way to put fresh stuff in there, and mm -hmm. it'll hold for a while. Now, the bigger issue is how do you roll it? Well, and that's actually pretty simple. You just want to fold both sides over. Okay. Just like that. And then what I like to do, instead of trying to roll it up, I take this piece, and I fold it over like that. Okay. 
and then you want to start tucking those vegetables in, get it nice and tight. Because you said you like your spring rolls tight. I like my spring rolls tight. There right. you go. So, I like the small, thin ones. I don't really like that big old bulky one that looks like a burrito. I like it real thin. Right. Now, when we come back, we're actually going to make um, the fried spring roll. We're going to okay. do crab and asparagus. And if you want to, you can. And the great thing about this paper is that you, it can be eaten raw or it can be eaten cooked. Um, no? The paper, I wouldn't eat like that. I mean, it would be like eating a potato chip, I guess. <laughs> okay, when I say raw, just in water after having a dissolved. Right, yeah, that's water. pretty much it. Okay. And then there you go. We'll make a few more. I got some sitting out here. When we come back, we'll do the crab asparagus fried at spring roll. Which did your is wife, did my wife put you up to this, get me to eat vegetables? I wasn't going to say anything. Okay, I figured she would. <laughs> Troy's Everyday Eats working on spring rolls for us this morning. Love a good spring roll, but just as important as the roll, you got to have a good dipping sauce. I'm a dipper. You know, and that's the thing. You know, we made the dipping sauce for the spring roll, and, you know, for me, a dipping sauce, when you put it in, it shouldn't just all fall off. Right. There should be some substance to it where it sticks. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to do a crab and asparagus. We've already got asparagus, and I've drained some crab. The asparagus, I just got fresh at the fresh market, grilled it in the grill pan mm, real quick. Love it. Now, of course, we got some Duke's mayonnaise. Okay, Duke's mayonnaise, <laughs> and, and then, then what do some, we have here? A little bit of buttermilk, and we'll, we're going to adjust this. The okay. recipe online is going to have about a quarter cup in there. Now, I've got some garlic here, and one good technique, if you don't want that, I mean, you want the raw garlic flavor, but if you don't want it real strong, you mm -hmm. don't want to bite it into chunks, you okay. can cut it into oh. small and then smash it with the back of your knife. I've never seen that before. Well, and what that does is it's going to disperse itself through the sauce even better. Oh, I like you that. You know, instead Probably. of it being... A hundred pieces, now there's a thousand And releases pieces. even more flavor, I imagine. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. Then we're going to take bit. some green onions and chop those up, just nice and fine. And I also like a little texture in it. We're going to need just a little I bit more. too. A little bit more buttermilk. Yeah, but it is nice and thick. You're right. It's going to hang on nice and tight to and the And you want it kind of like, almost like a, think of it like a pancake batter. You know, where that's you can it. pick it up and let it yes. kind of drop. Okay, that's exactly so what it looks like. We're getting there. So then we're going to put this, these green, green onions, onions in there. And what else you got? I know you got throw, more. A little crushed red pepper. Okay. Or a lot. Or a lot. And then I've roasted uh, a jalapeno. And I love doing this. You know, just like you would a green bell pepper yeah. or something. You know, you try the skin. And Does that take the heat off a little bit when you... It actually intensifies it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the thing is, is I've taken the seeds out and the it. membrane. Because most of the heat is in the seed and the membrane. Okay. So I've taken all that out. So we're going to... Now the other, you know, this you want to chop it nice and fine. Yeah, you don't want to get a surprise bite and go, whew, spicy. Well, and you want to just, again, the same thing with the garlic. You don't want to really bite into it. You want to mm -hmm. make sure you, you taste all of it. Okay, now we're, we're going to roll out. There we go. I'm going to put this in there. So that's going to finish that's that it. up. Now for the stuffing for the crab and asparagus, we're going to use some cream cheese and some Swiss cheese. This make, is the little less healthy version. We're going to fry this sucker up. We're going to fry this one up. And I'm going to put some thyme and just a touch of lemon juice in this as well. And then when we come back, we're going to put it all together. Do you have to be careful with thyme? Can it overpower? If you're not careful with the amount, uh, no, it's not, not really it's like, not that. That. like rosemary. Oh, it's okay. a little more subtle. It actually is kind of citrusy. Okay, good. Nice. Lemon, which will go pair nice with the crab. Wonderful. Can't wait. Oh. Hanging out here in the kitchen with Chef Troy and Christine, we have confirmed that yes, this is not an imposter. This is in fact Chef Troy. Yes, He's we're cooking back up at it. Yeah, we are back at it. He found the cheese and the in the deep fryer, so now yeah, yeah. I'm not as concerned. Well, when I, I saw this spring roll, I was like, what happened to Chef Troy? Well, come on, guys. <laughs> I still have to show you my bacon in my cooler, though. I promise you, I have a raw one-pound pack of bacon. Chef, that's hilarious. Told you. Told you. All right, so we're working on the spring rolls, and we already did the rice one, rice paper one. We'll get to that in a second, but. For the spring roll, the fried version, we're going to use an egg roll wrapper, which okay. is basically just a pasta sheet. Mm, okay. Now, a couple of keys is you saw the damp paper towel. If you're working with a lot of them, you'll make sure you keep it covered. That way, it doesn't dry out. If it dries out, it's going to crumble on you. Okay. The second thing is, is you want to use this is just a beaten egg, just the egg white and the yolk together. Okay. And you want to just go right around all four edges. And I have it shaped toward me like a diamond. Okay. Because okay. that's important when we go around. This roll is good. Right? See, like this is what's intimidating about. <laughs> nice to see. I like that. <laughs> this is what's intimidating about spring rolls is how you stuff it. Because it's like, are you going to overstuff it, understuff well, it? Well, and that's the thing is you definitely don't want to overstuff it. Now, we've okay. got about two tablespoons of the filling, and that's just Swiss cheese, some cream cheese, some lemon, some thyme. And then we're going to take some of our asparagus, which took about 45 seconds to cook, you know, just in a nice hot pan. I got the, the tips. I went to the fresh market. And you can get the thicker ones, but for this, I got the smaller ones. Now, this is just crab out of a can. You asked me, did you shell your own crab? I'm like, no. <laughs> that would be really impressive. <laughs> Over in the fresh market, at the in the seafood section, between the seafood section and the meat section, there's cans. And you can get jumbo lump or you can get um, lump. Just like this you would find tuna in a can? Exactly. Oh, okay. And, you know, you just drain it. And it, you know, saves a lot of work, but you still get that nice crab flavor. All right. I want to see how you roll this thing. Yeah. All right. You want to take the bottom, the tip towards you? 
and seal it down in front of you like that. Okay. And then you take this, just like you're wrapping a package, you want to go come straight across, or if you've ever worked in a restaurant, it's like rolling linen, okay. or rolling silverware with the linen, and you fold those over and see how it's all, all this, they're stuck now. It's a pocket. So then you can just take this and roll it up like that. And then we're going to drop cool. it in the deep fryer. And, and then is you it got the, the basket. Wash? Yes, sir. You all know right. this I can do. I can drop stuff in front of the <laughs> grease. That's one thing I can do. How long do those go for in the grease? Until they're golden brown. And one thing with this, because this, uh, the filling is so heavy on one side, they're not going to turn over. So what I do is I usually let them cook on one side. I'll lift the basket up and I'll take them out and put them in to where the, the side that hasn't golden brown down and put the basket on top of it just for a few nice seconds. Okay. Now, what are we frying these on, by the way? About 350 degrees. 350, okay. So not super That's a good either. size spring roll. And I know we got to go, so we're just oh, going to cut this sauce, in half. Do you want me oh, my yes. Place yeah. that for you? And you want to spoon that up. That was the <laughs> roasted jalapeno and um, buttermilk sauce that we did. Put that on the sides. And go. there you go. All the rest All right. of WCCB. Oh, delicious. Coolio 